Carrying on from the good work started in version 8, the folks at Adobe have extended the power of the face recognition or face tagging system inside the organizer space of Photoshop Elements. It's a great way to actually organize and manage the images that you have of friends and relatives or colleagues or classmates. So let's look at how we can actually go about tagging some faces. If I double click on an image, automatically when face tagging is turned on, a rectangle will appear around faces in the photo itself. And if it's not tagged, you can actually select the Who is this button at the bottom and simply type in the person's name. Press enter and that will automatically tag that person's name. If you then click the sideways arrow, then Photoshop Elements will go off and grab a whole bunch of other pictures, photos of faces included in them. And you see here's another example here, hasn't been tagged, saying is this a picture of Adrian? Of course it isn't. If we go over to the confirmed one, you'll see a couple of pictures there of Adrian. Yes, yes, both of those are pictures of Adrian. So we'll just click save and those will be confirmed as pictures of Adrian. Also what we can do if we go and select another photo from our grouping here, double click that, bring it up, you'll notice that there's two options here for people. I'm just going to cancel out of those for the moment and notice I'll go to the bottom right hand corner of the preview and click on that and that will bring up a face recognition dialogue or box that we can then position over the face of the person. In this case it's again a picture of Adrian but obviously much older and we'll click and enter Adrian and then click the tick to add that picture in. Uh, we'll go and then add in another face recognition box. This time we'll drag it over the picture of Karen in the photo and we'll type Karen in as the person's name and then press the green tick to add that as well. Remember at any time we can click the sideways arrow to actually find any other pictures in the group that we have of Karen and there's none there that are of Karen so I'll just click cancel. So let's go just go back to our photos you see there's a bunch more photos there that we can work with. If we want to work with groups of photos and go about finding their tagging we can go to find and then find people for tagging and it will bring up a range of photos of people in our library or in our selection of images. So in this case we can type in Margaret, Ruth and go through all of the images that we have here. I don't know who that is. This is Bob and this is Frank and we've already got Frank recorded as a face tag so we can actually just select Frank from the drop down menu click save and all of those are then saved off and you'll notice that they're actually placed over here in our keyword tags let me just move this to one side for a minute you'll see they're placed over here in our keyword tags and they become keyword tags uh, so we can add them to other photos as well you see other pictures have come up here so I can put in David here and this is Joy and this is Matt. So we can go through and there's another picture of Adrian which hasn't been picked up. Go through and add all those names in, click save and those will be um, added to the various uh, face tags or keyword tags that we have and it will gradually go through all of our photos picking up all of those different people's faces. I'm going to hit cancel on there for a moment, go over to this photo here, double click on it and you'll see how it's automatically added in the face tags that we've added but there's still a couple there that haven't been or one at least that hasn't been nominated so we'll go down and oh here we go it's actually Margaret. So we'll select Margaret and that's actually saved off now. So try working with the keyword tags and in particular face tagging and try some of the automatic face tagging options that we have available in the organizer workspace.